it's Sunday, July 24th here at the West End Gun Club. It's just after 5.30 here early to set up for the NRL 22 match. We have 27 shooters signed up. I'm expecting one walk-on. And uh, so we're close to 30. And it's going to be a good-sized match. I'm not sure if we're going to run three relays today or three squads. I brought three tablets with me. I have three timers, although two of them are are good. One kind of sucks for rimfire, but um, we can run two or three squads. I'm still debating that. I'll talk with the other match director when he gets here to see if he thinks we should run three. Um, I, I don't know if it will help us any. It will make the squads feel a little bit more manageable if you don't have, what, 14 people and we're down to more like nine people per squad so it feels a little bit less daunting but uh i was gonna daunting but just little it speeds it up for each squad like it doesn't feel like you're waiting too long so uh we'll see anyway let's go ahead and, and open up the container get everything set up and uh get ready for people when they arrive I think we got everything set up. I had to offset some of the props. Usually I set up the props right at where they're supposed to be at for the stage. But given that we don't really have much of a wide or you know, much of an area to shoot from with nearly 30 people, I need to keep as much of the area open for the zeroing period because people are gonna be zeroing prior to the uh, start of the actual match. So I just set some of the props, at least on the center side, a little bit back behind the uh, firing line. And then uh, once we're done zeroing, we can we can uh, move everything back into place. But one thing I've I've noticed that when people come to these matches is they take a long time to zero. Um, not trying to criticize, but generally I would hope that you've already got like your rifle zeroed for 25 or 50 yards or whatever, and you're just here to just make sure that uh, nothing shifted, right? And and maybe. You know, in this in this conditions, these weather conditions, in this elevation, this location, maybe you have an offset, maybe you have a tenth of an offset or whatever, two tenths mil offset, and you're going to have to adjust accordingly. And that's what you're just here to find out. You're not here to, you shouldn't be here to zero your rifle. I mean, I know people sometimes just don't have the opportunity, and that's the only chance to do it. But ideally, you should already have a zero on your gun, and you're just here mainly during the zeroing period just to double check to make sure nothing's wrong. And for me, zeroing period is, is specifically for warming up the gun. I just want to get some, warm up the barrel, get, you know, some 10 or, you know, 10 or 15 fouling rounds through the barrel, and then I'm set to go. Um, but like last month, I noticed that I had an offset, like a shift, right? Because of the warmer weather, I'm like two tenths of a mil uh, lower. I need to come down. So 
Anyway, uh, we're just gonna kick back and relax, and uh, I'm gonna drink some water because I'm already uh, kind of tired from setting everything up, and then uh, eat a little snack, and then we'll wait for people to arrive. Safety policy is the most important item of safety. Every single person on the range is a safety officer and should quickly and politely correct any breach or match safety rules. Each person should gracefully comply with all range safety enforcement. And just want to mess, give a message out there. If we call you out on something, it's not. We're not trying to be personal about it. We're not trying to like trying to demean you or like criticize you. We are simply just want to point out any safety issues. Everybody wants to be safe. I do stuff sometimes. I forget to drop my mag at the end of the day. Call me out on it. Say, hey, you left your mag in there. It's fine. I'm not going to take it personally. I'm going to forget. So don't take it personally. If we say, hey, you did something wrong, go ahead and correct it. Shooter, are you ready? Yep. Stand by. Oh, that just went. This drops, it's all good. Yeah, I should have had my other bag. It's all good. Shooter, stand by. You want this? <laughs> Here Hard to see. Impact. 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 Impact.
Four nine, sir. Nine. Yeah. Copy that. What's time? Oh shoot! It's not displaying. Oh, that's, you didn't catch it. You didn't catch the sound. All right. <laughs> well, I can just wait till it times out and just yeah, review tape. I think it was like closer to eighty though, because based on how the other guy was shooting. Yeah. And speed wise. You want to rerun me? I don't know. <laughs> So that's about oh, well, that's about ten, at least fifteen seconds. Yeah, I'll give you. Get, we'll go ahead and put uh, uh, one hundred five. One hundred five. Yeah. Okay. Stand by.
There is so much bounce on this thing, it's not even funny. <laughs> Did you hit? No, that one didn't hit. Is that not the right one? Yeah, that was the right one. The one? Yeah. That's the last shot? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I, I didn't get it. Impact! So. He missed it. He missed it. Impact! He's dropping rounds. I hit the that one looked like it missed, third but if you think you caught edge. I missed yeah. the second class and then I hit the last. Otherwise, I'll give you uh, for nine. Okay. All right, nine. I can Clear. Do you know which one you're going to start off with? Smaller. Smaller. Okay. Calvin, you're going to go smallest too, right? Huh? You're going to go for the smallest one, right? Yeah, I know. I'm going to try to hit it. I'm going to go to my right. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Spotter ready? Spotter is ready. Stand by. Shifted. I saw it go. Shoot it clear. Yes. Three, four, three. Shoot it ready. Yeah. Spot her ready. Ready. Shoot it stand by. Seven minus three. Nice, right, dude. From Calvin. So what I would, what you might want to try to do next time, uh -huh. instead of, because you're you're blading yourself, can, if you can shoot like this, yeah, off the rooftop, you see where my knees are at, uh -huh. so you can just square up your body, because you, when you're blading like this, you're gonna be moving your rifle side to side a lot more. Okay. So try to pra try to practice if you can get like square up, because you want your body to be square to your target. So always gonna be square to the target. The second you do this. That's when you induce some weird action with your body. Oh, okay. Uh, Got it. Yep. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, the barrel is attached hard to the stock, and then the receiver is completely floating in the stock. 
Oh, that's interesting. So you wedged it in here? It's kind of like, it's a press fit. Well, no, no, it's actually, this is split. It's, uh... Oh, okay, so you're clamping it in there. Yeah, so there's, a, there's one block which is attached from the underside, and then this block But you still have the action top. screws. No. Oh, you're not using the action screws. No, there's no action screws whatsoever. This is floating completely. Okay. Interesting. So there's about a 15 thousandths gap between here and the stock, so this completely floats. It, What's it, your reasoning behind that? Well, I just wanted to try it. Okay. No, but I wanted to try something different. Maybe it was psychological. I didn't think I was doing it very well. Yeah, I yeah. It's a machine time, so, uh, you know, not to that. I'm not entirely sure it's really better than it was before, but it's certainly different. So it's just aluminum, right? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So sixth place overall, first base class, is Ian Ellis again from last, team's last month. Yeah. Uh, 400 and 400.15. Fifth place overall, fifth <laughs> open class, Alex Saavedra, 423.32. Good shooting there. Fourth place overall, uh, fourth open, Anthony Shaw, yeah. 434.16. Third place overall, third open class is myself, 441.5. We should we need to go back and redo the, the tiebreaker, but uh, Alice can attest to this, but it's all good. Yeah, it's my bad. It's all good. Ethan Carroll, second place overall, nice, nice. second open. 442.84, so you were over me by 1.1, 1 1.3. 1 1 it's all good, Dad. And uh, first place overall, and first open is Dixon Lopez. Yeah. 450.65. Let's do a quick drawing for the, we got this Oryx certificate somewhere here. So, yeah. 50% off an Oryx Sportsman chassis. Um, Chris got the last one and he ordered his already. What's the lead time on this set? Uh, I think it's already waiting for me at home. Oh, okay, cool. Wow, that's nice. So okay. yeah, we'll do a drawing here and uh, uh, Aaron, you're, in, you're, you're the neutral party here. So you're <laughs> All right, who's going to pay up? <laughs> Come on, Aaron. All right, here's the ticket. Names on the back. Ethan Carroll. Ethan Carroll. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. The match is complete. Everyone's cleared out. Uh, I'm actually packed up. I'm about to head out of here myself. We finished up before noon. It's uh, 12.45 right now, though, because it took me uh, a little bit of time just to clean up all the targets and get them packed up in the condensed container, get everything sorted out, and make sure that the firing line is clear of all leftover gear. There's nothing left behind, so we're all good there. Uh, today, good day. I mean, I didn't win. I did not take top score. Somebody else did, which is cool. I mean, I mean, it just goes to show that I am beatable. I did mess up pretty badly on the first stage of the day that we fired. We ended up firing the ladder stage, the KYL with the ladder and chair. I literally dropped four shots, I think, off of the support side shooting off the chair. I should have shot with my mega bag, but I didn't bring it out. And you know, it's that it's that warm up, right? You're like that first stage is kind of your warm up stage, and I need to approach it a little bit better because uh, you you know you're just not in that. Sometimes you're just not in that mental state, right, where you need to perform like ideally. And so it's not it wasn't a good stage to warm up on because KYL rack, even though it's at 35 yards, so those are small targets, especially with support side shooting off of a chair. So I should have had my mega bag that would help me out because I did lose. Uh, first place by one point. Have I, or sorry, not one point, but one shot. Had I scored one shot, I would have won. So, I mean, dropping that, I dropped, I think I dropped five rounds the first stage. I dropped one round on the other three stages, I think. And I cleaned the last stage. So, dropped several shots, but you know, that's the way it is. I mean, you have to be on your game because, you know, everyone around you is getting better. And so any mistake you make, people can capitalize on. And that's why I tell people, you know, they come to these matches and just because I run it, you know, and, you know, I run the matches and I guess maybe this is my home range and I'm familiar with everything, but at the same time, you know, everyone else is also practicing. It's just, you just have to capitalize on mistakes and my mistakes. And I make mistakes from time to time and it's just, just jump on it whenever I 
whenever I'm not shooting as well as I could be, you just need to, you know, make sure that your game is also at elevated. And that's, that's the key thing. And I always, we always tell people that in high power, right? In high power service rifle shooting, it's all about, all about improving your average. Just, you have your average that you shoot, keep, keep improving that. And don't worry about what everyone else is doing because eventually you keep improving your averages and keep your averages uh, consistent. You don't, don't shoot below your average, always shoot at or above. And if you keep shooting above your average, you're improving, constantly improving. And eventually you'll just realize, hey, I'm shooting better than everyone else. You're not trying to beat someone else. You're just trying to beat your average. And that's, that's how you should probably approach this, I feel like. So you don't get caught up and get frustrated. Oh, I'm losing to somebody, you know, all these other people. Because I used to be in that situation when I shot service rifle high power. So I was always wondering, man, I'm I'm not shooting in next, you know, as good as all these high masters. I mean, I just never get, you know, and I'm not, and I wasn't realizing, hey, I'm shooting pretty good that day, even though I'm not, I'm not keeping up with these high master shooters. I am still shooting well for me, and. That's all I should be focused on. And hey, I'm improving, I'm improving. And then eventually got to a point where I hit a good state in high power where I was shooting. I was pretty good, right? I wasn't still high master level, but I was shooting pretty well. And so, I mean, I guess ultimately that's what I'm trying to say is that come out to these matches, eventually you're just gonna keep getting better and you're gonna be performing at the, you know, at the top of the echelon and don't stress about it, you know, I, and that's that's just the best way to approach it. Improve and you'll feel good. Anyway, I'm going to finish my paperwork and then turn it in and I'll get out of here. Uh, but anyway, hopefully you got some good information out of this. Uh, see how our matches are run. If you're uh, if you're interested in shooting NRL 22, definitely in your new area, definitely come out. I mean, we're always we're getting a new shooter every time. And we've had some people who are just observing just to see what it's like. And so I think we're drawing in more people. And today we had uh, 24 total shooters. We had 20, we were supposed to have 28 or 29, 29 rather, but five people didn't show up. I think one person was sick. I don't know what happened to the other people, but you know, we're getting to, we're getting, we're, we're cresting to that 30 point. And so it's nice to get all these new people coming in, repeat shooters, and we're going to do our best to make accommodations for all the amount of people that are starting to show up to these matches. Anyway, I want to get, go ahead and get out of here. Today is Sunday, July 24th here at the West End Gun Club. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next vlog.